The major thing that causes wrinkles is sun damage. Absolutely. The, mo the major thing, the top header, if we had all been good at sunscreen from the time of being a baby, we would be looking smooth like you wouldn't believe it. And there's pretty amazing amount of research indicating that that's the truth. That is a fact. As a, as a matter of fact, even the American Academy of Pediatricians has changed their directive of when to start infants on, suns on sunscreens. They used to say six months to a year. They now say from the time an infant sees the sun, they need to be using sunscreen. You can't st start sunscreen too young because the risk to skin not using sunscreen is so great. Fat depletion and movement. One of the things that causes the, particularly the wrinkles here and on the forehead and the jowls is the fat pads of the face. When we're young, they're nice and high up on our cheeks and they're high up on our forehead and they're firm and they do really well and they're tucked under the muscles under our chin. And then as we grow up, the fat pads, and I don't even quite know why because it's not related to sun damage, start moving down and in on the face. So where they started up really high here, they're now here. And the fat pads of the forehead are down here and then we get the heavy brow look. And the fat pads start pushing through the muscles underneath the chin and you get uh, the, the whatever. The turkey neck, turkey neck. Fat depletion and movement, along with sun damage, are major players in what causes wrinkles. The other thing is bone loss. The, architect the architecture of the face, the bone structure of the face, is holding our skin up. It's keeping our skin in place. Because of hormones, because of estrogen loss and osteoporosis, it affects your bones all over your face and all over your body and on your face. So you simply do not have as much bone structure to hold up your face as you do if you didn't go through menopause. And of course, we're gonna go through menopause. The reason the eye area wrinkles the most isn't because it's special skin. It's, it isn't because it's thinner and it needs special ingredients. The reason it wrinkles the fastest one is because of facial movement, and we'll talk about that in a second, but there's no bones there. It's a socket. The skin is hanging off of nowhere. It is more susceptible to, be, to gravity and sagging. Hormones, loss of estrogen. It actually starts sooner than we think, Some around, somewhere around the age of between 35 and 40. Estrogen levels in the body go down. The reason women feel like women versus guys is because of our estrogen content in our skin. As you lose estrogen, you lose bone content, and fibroblasts, the, the, uh, the cells in the skin that generate new cells, start becoming less and less. Muscle movement, I already explained that a little bit. You move the muscles of your face, those areas wrinkle first. Genetics, genetics absolutely plays a part. You can call mom and dad and give them a hard time maybe go to therapy together. So what the problem is, is what you inherit makes a difference. And that actually has more to do with your face structure, thinner, narrow faces, age faster, less bone structure to hold the skin up. Also, skin color, some amount of melanin. The darker skin tones you are, the melanin in your skin actually carries an SPF. So when you have certain genetic traits, they play a role in terms of how your skin will look as you grow up.